There are 24 new player cards in this Mythos pack. Like the Dunwich box, each class receives two new cards. And there's also two neutral cards. There are two copies of every player card, so you won't need more than one expansion per player. Every class also receives one asset and one event card, with the exception of the Seekers, who have the only skill card in this set which replaces their event. Breaking this set down by cost, we see that it's quite a cheap set. We've got two permanent cards that cost nothing, one skill card that costs nothing, and most of the other cards being zero and one. And it's the rogues who do best in terms of bang per buck, with one resource for two cards, but the survivors, guardians, and seekers get both their cards for just two resources. As usual, the mystics get the most expensive cards, but they're both topping out at just three resources. Moving on to the icons, we see something very interesting. The majority of the cards here have a double icon, and that's always welcome particularly for the Rogues and Mystics, both of whose cards have double icons. And the neutral cards, being permanent, won't have any icons at all. But did you notice there aren't any wild icons in this set? Focusing on specific icon types, Agility does best with six icons spread across four cards. They have the highest number of pairs. Intellect is next with four icons spread across three cards, and Deduction has a matching pair. Combat has three icons spread across three cards, so there's no double icon for them. Willpower has three icons on two cards, one of which is obviously a pair, and it's on a Guardian card, which is tremendous. There are only two fast cards in this set, and it's nice to see the Switchblade getting an upgrade. Speaking of upgrades, we also have an upgraded Shriveling, and both the Mystic cards in this set are spells, so that Amulet of Hyperborea is really starting to earn its keep but what a shame we haven't seen a single tome. There are three items in this set, and the only weapon is the upgraded Switchblade. There is a single ally, and it's a new ally for the Seekers, which continues their tradition of having an ally reaction triggerable after it enters play. And speaking of themes, the Mystics are working their way ever out into other classes, with Hypnotic Gaze functioning as a dodge, which is great for Agnes as she doesn't normally have access to Guardian-type cards, which could come in handy as there's no healing in this set. Looking at the slots, the hand slot is the most popular, and we've got one arcane and one ally, so we're relatively slot light. And if you do need more slots, the mini theme of this set is to give you more slots. At last we see a card which makes use of the body slot. Unfortunately, all it does is convert that body slot into a hand slot. But if you're a Jenny Barnes, or if you're a prolific shotgun user, Bandolier can really help you out. Particularly if you're playing solo and you need stuff like flashlight or a magnifying glass. Speaking of helping you out, we finally see the long-awaited Charisma, which grants you an extra ally slot, and Relic Hunter, which grants you an additional accessory slot. Both of these are permanent cards, so after you buy them with XP, they will start in play, unlike Bandolier, which you have to rely on coming up during play. And of course, you can have two copies of them in your deck, and in play at once. Because there's no unique asterisk, every player can have one of these in play, or two copies in play. For investigators like Zoe or like Wendy, which rely on their own dedicated accessories, it's great to have an additional accessory slot. Maybe for something like the police badge, or an Elder Sign amulet, or the Holy Rosary. And Ashcan Pete will love charisma, as the more allies he has in play, the less chance there is of having to discard Duke. But in this set, there are no Exile cards. That wonderful mechanic that popped up in the last expansion that has so much potential is being completely missed out on. Would you like to win your very own copy of the Essex County Express? That sounds like a silly question. Chaos Cards are a UK-based retailer that ships products all over the world. They've got a copy of the Essex County Express to give away, and they've chosen the Arkham Chronicle as the best place to do it. Thank you very much! And how can you win your very own copy? That's right, by playing Wheel of Fish. You can't play Wheel of Fish! You lost the spinner! Alright, so, not by playing a Wheel of Fish. Simply go to the Chaos Cards website, find the Essex County Express page, and check how much it is for them to post it to wherever you live. Put that amount in the comments below, and if you're a subscriber, you could win. Check back in the comments in a week's time, and we'll tell you if you've won. And Chaos Cards will post out a brand new Essex County Express right to your door, no matter where in the world you are.